Yo, what's up, YouTube, man? Smoke TNT checking back in, man. Welcome back to another video, man. In the crib, man, as you can see. In the crib. I still got to get this shit together, man. I got to get everything that I need for the crib. I got some people getting me some stuff. I appreciate the people that's getting me stuff, you know what I'm saying, for the crib. A new crib, man, I'm excited. I'm excited. Right now, man, I'm just chilling. Just chilling right now, you know what I'm saying, just reflecting on, you know what I'm saying, what... What kind of ideas I want to have for the future for the YouTube, man. <clears throat> man, if you're new to the channel, man, like, comment, share, subscribe, man. Man, it's been a journey, man. It's really been a journey. It's been a journey. But I know I, I know y'all see that title, man. I'm not capping on the title. Listen, man. I got the crib right now. But before I was in this crib, believe it or not, I was really living in my car. Like, I am not capping. Like, I was really living in my car. And whether a lot of y'all believe it or not, some of y'all may think it's cap. But the ones that really, really know me, I didn't have no place to stay. Like I said, man, I moved up here. This was a move. This was like a random move. Like I was home and stuff. I was staying with my people. I was working at home. Like I just up and quit that job. And like I just decided to come to the city. I had ended up getting a job in the city. But at the time, I didn't have no place to stay. I didn't have this apartment. Like I didn't have no place to stay. Like, this is no cap. If you really know me, you know this ain't no cap. So, I ain't nobody capping about that. But like I said, man, I ain't have no place to stay. The last job that I was at, believe it or not, I was fucking staying at my job. I mean, at right now, currently, I'm not at that job no more. That's, that's one of the reasons why I kind of didn't really have nowhere to stay. Because I was really staying at my job. Like, no cap. I was staying at my job. They had a whole ba a vacant building. They had a vacant building that they wasn't even using no more. They used, it was used years ago. But man, I had went up, I guess my plant manager at the time. I, like I said, I'm currently not working no more. Like I'm not working there no more. But currently at the time, my plant manager, I had went up to my plant manager. I was like, yo, I don't got no place to stay. Like I need somewhere to stay. I got a job up here. I ended up moving away from home. I said, I don't want to go back home. That's the easy route. So I don't have nowhere to stay. So my plant manager, they, he said, well, I'm going to talk to some people. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to see if I can make some moves happen. And you know what I'm saying? We're going to see if we can find you somewhere to stay. So it took them a couple of days to, you know what I'm saying, to clear up everything. So in that meantime, I ain't had no motherfucking where to stay. So where the fuck else I'm going to stay? So I'm still going to work and stuff, but I still ain't had nowhere to stay. So finally, what, a couple of days after that, he let me know. He finally let me know. He said, well... I talked to the uh, president and everything of the company. We gonna let you stay here. They was like, it's a big liability. We don't suppose to let you stay here, but we gonna let you stay here. Like I said, they had a whole vacant building. You know what I'm saying? Over here, they not even using. It's on the uh, property of the actual plant. You know what I'm saying? Where it was at, but it's just an old building. They wasn't using no more. So he ended up making me a key for it and making me a key for the plant. So man, I was staying there. That's where I was staying. I was staying at least. I had to say, what, two weeks? Two two weeks and a half. And then, you know what I'm saying, I, I'm not working there currently. I ain't going to tell you what happened with that. But I was really staying at my job. I didn't have nowhere to stay. And so whenever I got, whenever I stopped working from there or whatever, I didn't have nowhere to stay. And I didn't, it was, a, I knew it was going to be a couple more weeks until I had to move into my apartment. So there, you know what I'm saying? From then on, you know what I'm saying, I was, I was, I was thugging it out. I was thugging it out, man. Believe it or not, I was thugging it out. And if you really know me, you know I was really thugging it out. This ain't for no cap, man. This ain't for no views. This ain't for none of that, man. This ain't for no YouTube. This ain't for none of that. This is real, true facts. But I got the crib now, man. I'm blessed. I'm thankful. I'm just blessed, man. I'm really blessed. Cause I know where I came from. I know what the struggle like. Man, so I just want, you know what I'm saying, whoever watching, make sure you never give up, man. It's motivation. I was staying in my car. You know what I'm saying? Before I got this apartment, I could of course, I could have easily went back home and stayed, but I was trying to make it on my own out here. I'm really trying to make it on my own. Trying to work up here. I knew I was moving into the apartment, so what's the use of, you know what I'm saying, going back back to the grill, you know what I'm saying? I'm thugging it out up here. I'm talking about thugging it out, thugging it out. But man, if you're new to the channel, man, like, comment, share, subscribe. I'm blessed. Never give up. Keep running it up, man. Appreciate you. I hope this is some motivation to you, man. Never give up, no matter the circumstance.